LeBron James, or King James, has been an ever-present force in the NBA for the last two decades. He is a four-time MVP, 19-time All-Star, four times Finals MVP, and has been on the defensive team six times. But what if he played in the Premier League? So the Premier League club I've chosen for LeBron is Liverpool, because he has part share in the club, as well as it being the club he supports. He's a 78 rating, as this was the rating that he got when he entered the league back in NBA 2K4. LeBron is six foot nine. However, FIFA does not allow this height, so we put him at six foot seven. Let's see how his first season goes. Year one of LeBron's career in the Premier League was not actually in the Premier League. He was sent to Germany and played for RB Leipzig. Let's check out how he did over there. RB won the league, and Bayern came third with seventy points. Bayern Leverkusen broke the hundred goal scored mark, and by the looks of things, he was getting game time which is good. Let's go and spin the wheel again to see what changes happen to year two of his career. So we spin the wheel and we get sell main mid. Okay, that's not good. With the wheel spin, we have to sell Thiago and this means our midfield is even more empty now. If Henderson, Fabinho or Jones get a serious injury, then we could be in big trouble. We did get £55 million for him, though. Let's jump to the end of the second season and see how it went for LeBron. So sadly, because of how stacked Liverpool's attack is, LeBron only got four games in the Premier League this season. But he did get two goals and one assist, and went up two ratings. But let's see if Liverpool won any silverware with LeBron at the club. So Liverpool came second in the league, but were nowhere near City who dominated. Let's check the Cups. Man United won the FA Cup, beating Wolves 2-1 in the final. We won the Carabao Cup, beating Arsenal 3-2 in the final. PSG are in the final against Inter. And we've won the Europa League, beating Real Madrid 3-0 in the final. Not really sure how Real Madrid ended up in the Europa League, but that is our first bit of European silverware for LeBron. And Galatasaray beat Florentina in the Europa Conference League final. Let's spin the wheel again and see if there's any drastic changes for year three. For year three, we're going to spin the wheel twice. First spin gets us to buy a world-class midfielder, which is fantastic, as we lost Thiago in the previous season. And the second spin gets us... Sell all competitors. That's probably the best thing on the board for LeBron. So let's see how year three goes for LeBron. The world-class midfielder who we have picked up is who every Liverpool fan wanted in real life, but he chose to play for Los Blancos instead. It's Jude Bellingham. Also, we saw Darwin Nunes to Juventus for Nicola Rivella and £12,200,000. As well as Cody Gakpo to BSG for £72.5 million. And the biggest transfer by far was selling Diego Yotta to Newcastle for £165,800,000. But that won't even make a dent in Newcastle's finances. Let's go to the end of the season. Now with no striker threat for LeBron up top, he got to play all 38 games in the Premier League, getting 21 goals and 12 assists. He's also 87 rated now. And in the Champions League, he got 5 goals and 2 assists. Let's check the standings for this season. In the Prem, Arsenal won the Premier League, and we finished third, with Leicester getting a European football as well. Scrolling down, we've got West Ham, Everton and Wolves mid-table, and Newcastle just survived in the Prem, even though they spent £165 million on Yotta. Let's move on to the Cups. We beat Crystal Palace 3-1 in the final for the FA Cup and beat Spurs 2-1 for the Carabao Cup. And we won the Champions League, beating Barcelona 3-1 in the final. Atletico beat Juve 2-0 in the Europa League. And there was a giant killing in the Conference League final, where Club Bruges beat Napoli 1-0. Let's go back to the wheel for next season. So, for the first spin we get, buy a world-class defender. And for the second spin we get, do nothing. Okay, let's do that. So with the wheel spin, we got to buy a world-class defender. So we picked up Delict from Bayern Munich. So let's see how this season goes, now that we've picked up another world-class player. So we are now at the tail end of LeBron James's fourth season, and we are again in the Champions League final. However, this time we are coming up against PSG. Having a look at this team, 
they've brought in some solid players like Frankie de Jong and then also Cody Gakwo from ourselves, who is up front with Mbappe. They're also playing a five at the back. Let's play the final with LeBron. For this game, I'm probably going to go down the wings and spam crosses with Trent and Robertson, as LeBron is maximum height and has good physicals. He's even got two inches on Donnarumma. Trust me, that makes all the difference. Fabinho to Rivella, to Bellingham, back to Rivella, into LeBron's space, from outside the box. LeBron time. What a finish from LeBron. That's us 1-0 up against PSG in the 27th minute. Hakimi on the wing now. Cuts inside to Gakpo, to De Jong. Off the crossbar, clearing. <laughs> Mbappe scores with a header. Didn't think that would be the way Mbappe scores. Now 1-1 in the Champions League final. Trent to Salah. Salah back to Trent. Trent runs down the wing. Crosses it in. LeBron with the header. 2-1 in the Champions League final. LeBron's got himself a brace. Last attack of the game for PSG with Hakimi. Now into Ben White. With an insane pass to Mbappe, but that is a tame finish. And there we have it. Liverpool are back-to-back -back Champions League champions. And now Jude is lifting up the Champions League trophy as captain of Liverpool. LeBron has already had an insane first few years at Prem. Let's have a look at his stats for this season. So in the Premier League, with the world-class Liverpool team around him, he got 29 goals in 38 games, making him the league's top goal scorer, and he chipped in with a couple of assists. In the Champions League, he got 12 goals in 13 appearances. And let's see if LeBron won any more silverware on top of the Champions League this season. And he has done it. He has won the Premier League with Liverpool who finished on 92 points with a goal difference of 61. Chelsea came in second on 83 points. And in the domestic cups, we won the Community Shield beating Arsenal 2-1, and West Ham were this year's FA Cup winners beating Leicester 2-1 in the final. And we won the Carabao Cup too. With these trophies and his goals this season, that surely means he will get the greatest accolade of all for a footballer. The Ballon d'Or. So not only is he the goat of basketball, he is now the greatest player in the world in football.